here with Kathy Cody, co-owner of Turtle Crossing Espresso Bar and Bake Shop. Very new because y'all have just moved, yep. and but not quite so new because y'all are formerly known as the Turtle Crossing Cupcakes. That's right. But y'all yeah. have uh, just added the espresso bar and then are continuing the bake shop. Is that right? That's correct. Absolutely. Well, great. Yeah. And as well, our viewers might have seen you on a show that we had a couple years ago. It was one of our very first shows of Brunswick Biz, um, and you were on for the Turtle Crossing Cupcakes. So we wanted to get in here and see kind of the differences that you've made. Y'all just moved and just see what you've added. So thanks for, for doing the show again. Well, thanks for coming back. We're excited, yes. Well, remind our viewers a little bit about your business. All right. Well, we've been in business. This is going to be our fourth summer that we're here, uh, fourth season, and we're, uh, we're just excited to be here. Uh, we've moved into the Calabash Cottages, and uh, it's just right on Beach Drive on 179. And uh, we left our location on Thomasboro Road. Um, because our building was sold. Uh, we had wonderful landlords over there, but um, we are now over in the courtyard uh, just across from the Calabash Garden Tea Room, which we also own. And so we're very excited to be here in the courtyard because it's really a quaint setting over here. It and is. Um, it's going to allow us to have um, uh, really a little bit more hands-on, to be uh, right here, to uh, have really great quality control, uh, to... Um, be around more often and have uh, you know see our customers more often, right. which we really enjoy doing. Well, good. So, yeah. Well, this is very exciting, and like you said, it is a very quaint place. We're out here. We've got some crumb cake and some a cupcake yeah. and an espresso, so it's just very enjoyable to be here. Um, tell us a little bit about your cupcakes. What are some of the flavors you have going on? Um, tell us maybe what what's a favorite. Well, uh, everybody's favorite. Uh, is red velvet. I mean, it's one of the favorites across the country, but uh, we find that uh, our key lime is a real popular flavor that we do. Mm. Um, we do chocolate turtles, um, sometimes seasonally. Um, we do a, a chocolate Guinness cupcake with Bailey's Irish cream frosting. Wow. That is very popular. Um, uh, we have an orange creamsicle, a stuffed orange creamsicle, which folks just love and we just do a lot of things seasonally. Uh, our stuffed strawberry is something else that uh, our customer loves. So in the cupcake lineup uh, seasonally we play with different flavors and add things um, throughout the year so it changes what is a customer favorite. Actually. Well how exciting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how, that's really fun to be able yeah. to change with the seasons yes. and, and kind of just try new things. It so. is. It's fun to play with flavors. Yeah yes. and we also mentioned uh, before that you have crumb cakes. So mm -hmm. what else do you have besides the cupcakes? Well we have um, we do have our Jersey crumb cake and uh, I'm a Jersey girl so um, it looks it delicious. Is, uh, we have uh, people that just come and love our crumb cake and uh, when we were closed for a few months in the winter, people were coming to our tea room, knocking on our door <laughs> saying, oh, I'm craving your crumb cake. Can oh you make gosh. it? And we were. So oh, that's, that's, awesome. a, that's a real favorite. People come and um, buy it, take it home for breakfast. Um, we have uh, a, a lineup of uh, pies that we do. Uh, we have cannolis. We, uh, we bring in Ferrara's cheesecakes from New York. Um, we have uh, some lemoncello and uh, tiramisu cakes. Um, we have a, a whole great assortment of scones that we have okay. as well. Um, we're going to be offering um, some gluten-free options for um, our gluten-free people. We can do special orders for gluten-free and oh, wow. sugar-free cupcakes uh, for some of those uh, customers that are looking for that as well. Some I breakfast options. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet there's a lot of customers that are, you know, gluten-free and there, stuff. So that's there helpful. are. I make gluten-free scones as well. Oh, wow. So with uh, advance notice, we can do that as well. Excellent. Um, yeah, we have. Uh, we'll have some other breakfast selections. Uh, I saw some oatmeal yeah. in there. There is oatmeal. Yep. And um, I think with some customer requests, we'll be able to work on some other things as uh, yeah. as time goes by too. Very good. Now, is this a size? I mean, this is a hefty portion here. It is a good portion. People <laughs> go, oh, my God, is that really? And it really is. So, yeah. um, it, you know, we're not skimpy on our sizes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And I also saw on there, um, they were the pup cakes. Yes, for our little uh, furry friends. <laughs> we have, for the dogs and cats, we have little pup cakes that are made um, especially for them, so um, they're good for their digestive system, and uh, they have little uh, little bones on the top of them. Uh, they're made for uh, our little dogs and cats, and 
So you can come and sit outside uh, in the courtyard and you can, we're pet friendly, you can come and get a little treat for your dog or cat or take them home for their little birthdays. Yeah. Uh, which is fun as well. How fun. Yeah. That's uh -huh. really great. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about the espresso bar. Like we said, that's new. It is new. Um, yeah. But it looks like you guys have a lot going on in there already, so yeah. tell us about that. Yeah, we're excited. So, um, you know, we always served coffee, but um, we're very excited about what we have right now as far as our coffee. Uh, it's, uh, we have uh, all organic, fair trade coffee. Uh, it's all um, uh, roasted in North Carolina, and um, we are grinding all our own beans, uh, you know, every day, throughout the day. Um, so you're going to get a fresh cup of coffee every single time. Uh, we have our fresh espresso beans, so if you're wanting a latte or a cappuccino or a, an espresso, yeah. um, just come on down. We have a decaf espresso as well available. Uh, we're making, you know, lattes and um, uh, we'll be able to do smoothies for you as well. Oh, yeah. Um, we have... Um, uh, decaf espresso it's all Swiss water so if any of the ladies are pregnant you don't have to worry about um, uh, anything being chemically treated oh, wow. um, so we're, we're really excited I think we have the best coffee in the area and um, we welcome everybody to come down and, and try um, our coffee. Well, very yeah. good. Now, mm -hmm. I believe Julie yes. uh, made this espresso for me she just did. a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Tell us, I believe she caught it the turtle. She did. So what and does that entail? Well, she made it with, uh, with caramel and chocolate, and she uh, ground your beans, and she, uh, she pulled a shot of espresso for you, and she, uh, she steamed and frothed your milk, and... I think you're just loving it. Actually. It is. Yes. It's delicious. Uh -huh. It tastes fresh yeah. and it has that sweetness to mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. Very good. Now, oh, yeah. do you have a favorite? You know, I am. Um, I'm a black coffee girl, so okay. I love my shot of espresso. There and you go. Uh, so, um, you know, once in a while, I'll add sweeteners and different flavors and stuff. But I just love a good espresso, and that's when I started tasting coffees and uh, and trying to find the right bean for us to. Uh, to serve our customer, that that was my criteria to find a good, smooth, nice espresso, and so we're really proud of what we're serving our customers. Yeah. And so that's why you see this in front of me. <laughs> yes, there you go. Well, it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, can you tell our viewers just your new contact information, your new location? Yeah. Um, you might have the same telephone number, but just go ahead and yeah. remind them of that. But just any kind of information that they can come by or just get in touch with yep. you. Well, our location is 10152 Beach Drive in Calabash. It's also considered Route 179, right in downtown Calabash, as I call it. <laughs> And our phone number is the same as it has been. It's 910-579-1500. Uh, you can like us on Facebook. We have actually, um, we're merging our Facebook pages um, okay. from our um, North and South Carolina location. We had uh, a Facebook page for our uh, North Myrtle Beach and our Calabash location. And we're starting a new Facebook page and merging them for um, Turtle Crossing Espresso Bar and Bake Shop so you can like us uh, and uh, we do have a website that uh, we've just always been really busy and didn't really get much of it up and running so yeah. we're hoping to get more information on the website but um, you can always call us and we do also we do wedding cakes we do okay. special orders we uh, do cupcake tiers for weddings and anniversaries. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, we're I saw able to do about that. Um, we're able to do a lot more than maybe a Facebook page or a um, our website maybe says that okay. we do. Um, so just always call and um, and speak to us because there's uh, we don't say no to very much. <laughs> and, well, that's uh, good. That's yes, great. Yeah, uh, I will tell you that we have also. Um, uh, decided to close our South Carolina location so if you're looking for us on Main Street we're not there any longer and we are here in the courtyard in Calabash and we love the town of Calabash and we wanted to focus um, on staying uh, here and keeping our quality control and uh, and giving our customers really good service so that's why we came back to one location Good. just to do the best job that we can. Yeah, so you yeah. had a very busy time recently. We really did, yes. <laughs> well, very good. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to taste this. Please do. But we yeah. appreciate you being on the show again. Thank you. And yeah. good luck with everything. We're excited for Thanks. you. Thanks so much, Kat. Appreciate it.